Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is an end of day report for trading on May the 24th, 2016, Tuesday. And the markets are now closed. Uh, and you can see that the market rally, this is a uh, chart of the Dow Jones futures. Uh, this chart rallied some 220 points. Uh, as you can see here, we broke this uh, this downward trend line, and now we've we violated that, and we have support now at 17,297. So hopefully that will hold if this is going to get some legs and travel up the side of the Kumo cloud here on the daily chart. This comes after we see weakness as the market got below the long-term uh, support line here and getting itself into the Kumo cloud further. So this has stopped the descent into the Kumo cloud. But when you look at it in the big, in the overall grand scheme of things, here we are now on the weekly chart and you can see that we went absolutely nowhere today. We went nowhere. All right, the uh, resistance from last week is 17,720. 17,720. We came within two points shy of taking that out in today's rally. We topped out at 17,718. 17,718. So we have done nothing. The market is still where it's at, and we're still trading inside of last week's range, technically speaking. This downward channel is still here, okay? But we're still bullish overall because we're above this thinly uh, veiled Kumo cloud and in the shorter term uh, support is crossed above the long term support. So here you have it. This is where we are. And we have uh, weekly support at 17 to 97. Anything can happen in these weird markets, but just keep in mind that technically speaking, it's still a bullish overall scenario for the Dow. Will we continue? Will we just drift sideways until Friday and then take a little off the table? Who knows? But overall, really nothing to see here today. Uh, all we did was trade in the upper end of last week's trading range in the Dow. All right, taking a look now at the uh, the Nasdaq chart. The Nasdaq actually broke out of its uh, its three week trading range here, and it's looking in a little bit better shape than the Dow. Question is though, can it break out of this trading range? Can it break out above the forty four eighty nine seventy five? Not really sure about that. So really it's more, I wouldn't say three weeks, this is a four week trading range. So the NASDAQ's been just like drifting sideways for four weeks and we're still within that four week trading range. Haven't really broke out from it yet and really haven't broken down either, just sideways. So again, not a whole lot has really happened and we're getting overbought right here. All right, so I don't, I don't think this is going to pan out very well. It's, it's not what I'm looking at in the chart. It's what you don't see in the chart that is telling the picture here. And it doesn't really look all that bullish. This is a flatlined scenario right here. It's not rising. It's not moving. So this is still flatlined overall. Look at your volume coming way off. Even in today's rally, look at this volume here. This is almost invisible volume. I don't want to spill the beans in this video because for those of you who follow this channel, you know what we've uh, I've put out the new documentary series um, showing that there is no financial collapse coming. It already happened, but there is a big old secret with this right here, and I've talked about it before, but I'm uh, I'm saving it for the next installment of the. Um, of the series and this right here is so telling it's not even funny this proves this video right here proves what I'm going to be discussing later on this this right just remember this right here remember this microscopic volume right here alright 
we had more volume with this bar here than we did with this breakout bar today. Look at that. Look at that. This right here is off the chain. This this is off the chain. This teeny volume. Look at this volume. Look at the other past volumes. Okay? Look at this volume. Look at this move. This move is way more significant than this move. Look at the volume. This move is less significant than today's move. Look at the volume. Look at the volume. All right? I just want to point that out. How can a market move with no volume? If no one's trading, how is the market going up and down? Think about that. Let that sink in for a minute. Let's move on. All right. Gold continued its precipitous decline. I warned you of a crash coming in the gold and silver markets, and it is playing out just the way I told you it was going to play. Some of you were looking for a $100 move in one day. That does not always happen. Those moves are rare. They do happen, but they are rare. When we say crash, we mean supports being violated. When we say rally alert, we mean resistance levels being violated. Meaning that if you're long and a crash alert comes out, you're probably going to want to go ahead and re reverse that position. Vice versa. If you're long and we get a crash alert, you're probably going to want to go ahead and take profit off the table because you don't want to be caught up in this. Now, this gold chart is much more devastating than the Dow and NASDAQ chart. All right, here we are here. We took out our four-week support back here. We just took that out today. All right, that's gone now. Now we're in free fall. The next stop is the 1192 trend line support right here. It has to it has to close above that. It cannot close below that. If it does, we're in free fall back to 1050 and below. Not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Why is this happening on low volume? Look at this volume. We're getting more significant chart movement and less volume. Remember the volume I'm showing you here. I'll say it again. Remember the volume. Today's move was way more significant than last week's move on the huge volume. Look at today's volume. Look at this move here. Pretty insignificant look at the volume look at this move here even more insignificant look at the huge volume look at the volume today look at the volume here's a big move here significant move taking out prior resistance levels look at the volume look at the volume <laughs> all right this move significant look at the volume let's move on all right looking here at silver silver looks just like the gold chart we took out this uh, range here trading way below the range we're getting into the prior week before that week's range now and taking that out and this was support was at uh, 1614 today we hit 1620 so we're getting close to taking out even this support all right, this one has not tested or touched the shorter term trend line support like gold did. Uh, it has to get to 1603, and then its uh, trend line support is at 1576. Close below that, we're also in free fall, getting back down to the 1350 handle, would be in play at that point. All right, not good. We are oversold, but it looks like it's in a locking in stance that's not good means that much further downside is coming not good not good at all and now you got upward resistance now up here at 1807 way back up here okay not cool this suggests much further downside see this big huge long air pocket much further downside all right here's the US dollar strengthening the Fed keeps hope alive in the dollar, keeping that dollar strong, keeping it from collapsing. 
what a rebound off of this spike low down here market was in free fall if you remember the, doing this this week here and then it just upward reversed it and look at the volume look at the volume today's move significant took out last week's resistance prior week's resistance look at the volume no one's home look at the volume significant movement no volume take care remember bulls make money bears make money but pigs get slaughtered take what you can give nothing back be on the lookout for the fourth installment in the series